We are heading with you, to the most active seismic zone of the planet, the so-called, Ring of Fire. This is the area around the perimeter of the Pacific Ocean, where are situated the overwhelming majority of the active volcanoes, and where most earthquakes occur on the planet. Indonesia awaits us. Archipelago country, made up of 17,000 islands. The country, that confidently occupies the fourth position in the global coffee production, and that played a very important historical role. After all, to this very country the Dutch transported first coffee trees, and the first global commercial coffee cultivation, began in Indonesia. I must say, that my acquaintance with Indonesia, also began with an earthquake. I won't talk about it in detail, but literally the next day after the earthquake, we read in the newspapers, that about 40 people died in a hotel. And one of the survivors, a young man, wrote, that he owed his salvation to coffee. He survived only because he went out to drink a coffee. The hotel prices were too high for him, and so he went to a nearby coffee house, located in 300 meters from the hotel. And the building collapsed. This is how fate, in the form of a cup of coffee, saved a man's life. By the way, the most dangerous in such cases is not the earthquake itself, but the tsunami, that follows the quake, turning into a huge wave. In December 2004, one of the most powerful tsunamis in human history, killed 250,000 people, in one day. Just think about this figure. 250,000 people in one day. 170,000 of them, were Indonesians. We visited a frightful museum of that tragedy, where for example, there was a 50-ton tanker, which the wave threw to the very center of the city. Can you imagine that power? There, in the museum, I saw a coffee cup, which I call the most tragic cup in my life. The cup, that survived the earthquake. A dirty, filled with earth coffee cup, having no beauty, or aesthetic value, but still bearing the horror of the tragic day. Alright, enough about sad. Let's go to a very unusual drink in Java, that you will not find in other regions of Indonesia. It comes from the town of Yogyakarta, and is called Kopi Jos. Indonesian word Kopi means coffee, and Jos means amulet. A little later you will understand what amulet we refer to. This drink is exotic in that after the ordinary preparation of coffee, ordinary preparation in Indonesia means to pour ground coffee and sugar directly into a cup, and fill the cup with boiled water. A piece of burning charcoal, literally hot charcoal, is thrown into the glass of coffee. Barista takes it out of the fire, and puts it right into the cup. Moreover, the charcoal is not just hot, but red hot. It even emanates sparks. When the seller takes such piece out of fire, he blows on it. Something like we do, when we want to blow a fire. In the glass of coffee, this charcoal begins to hiss and smoke. But it's not drowning, so the seller has to sink it with a spoon. And when the fight of fire and water quickly ends, with the victory of the latter, the floating mini geyser calms down and a coat of coffee grounds and ashes remains on the surface of the drink, just like after an earthquake. After that hellish gurgle, the glass, in Indonesia coffee is mostly served in glasses, does not look quite clean, to put it mildly. It looks like it survived a volcano eruption. But what can you do, such as the price of exoticism? Where this drink came from, is not known, but the statement that it is unique, is a plain fact. And I must say, that for a drink with coal, it tastes pretty smooth. You do not feel any dirt, ash or cinder at all. They also say, that this piece of coal, neutralizes acid in the stomach. I can't say anything for or against, I felt myself well enough then. But if we recall the effect of activated carbon, which is a wonderful sorbent, then I admit, that this drink might be helpful in case of some indigestion. By the way, they recommend to consume the charcoal coffee without sugar. Of course, it looks incredibly exotic and amazing. Unusual, 
even a little bit dirty, but, as they say today, definitely Instagrammable. Photographing such a drink, and especially, making video clips in the evening, in Indonesia they make and serve this coffee in the evening, is just awesome. But again, you will not find it everywhere in Indonesia. So if you happen to be in Java, I would strongly recommend you to try it.